For soybean seed depth assessment, we recommend checking depth at the time of seeding, while assessing germination, or after crop emergence. Check out different parts of the field and different furrows along the length of your seeding equipment, taking note of how the equipment may have influenced seed depth. For instance, openers that dig a deep furrow, wide packing wheels that push extra soil over the furrow, or land rolling can all increase seed depth. Carefully scrape away soil within the furrow until you find seed or underground seedlings, then measure the distance to the top of the true soil surface, which may not match the top of the furrow. Post-emergent seed depth assessment can be done by measuring the length of white space along the hypocotyl, stretching from the root hairs to where the green tissue starts. And this picture is an example of soybeans seeded at about one and three quarters of an inch deep. According to Manitoba research conducted by the Soybean and Pulse Agronomy Lab, the optimum seed depth range for soybeans is three quarters of an inch to one and three quarter inches. This is the best range for maximum yield potential, plant density, and pod height. Symptoms of deep seeding may be an elongated hypocotyl arch, a swollen hypocotyl, yellow cotyledons below or above ground, or the loss of cotyledons, which can contribute to yield loss. On the other hand, with shallow seeding, there might be seed stranding, partial germination, then desiccation of seed where they ran out of moisture, or an overall reduction in plant stand. So as a recap, the best range is three quarters of an inch to one and three quarter inches, and this is to help give your soybean crop the best launch.